Xiaomi have created a powerful new content creation device with the new 12T Pro. It's using a 200 megapixel rear camera, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, 120 watt fast charging, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 120 hertz display, and has up to a 256 gig storage, 12 gigs of RAM on the highest end SKU. Xiaomi are clearly trying to do their best to create flagship specs in a much more affordable package. This video is sponsored by Xiaomi, uh, by the way, and the focus that I've asked to do is to look into some of the camera modes that they've implemented inside the device that are geared towards content creators like myself and hopefully you that are watching this. These features could only have been possible with the latest improvements and spec bumps that they've included. All of these modes have been built straight up into the camera app, which makes them some of the easiest features to access on the fly, which is something that you want to do as a content creator. So let's take a look at them. Vlog mode is a powerful tool that creates montage templates for you to film to. It's not an entire vlog per se, but it can help you create an intro montage or slip in a montage into a section of your video. It's a very efficient way that can help you start creating videos quickly, especially when you're lacking inspiration. First, you choose a template with a song and grade that you like. When you start filming, the timeline is then broken up into the beats that make up the montage. So all you need to do is find your shot and fill it in. Once you're done, you have a complete clip that's been edited, graded, and ready to post onto social media or to use as a bit in your next vlog. These are also great for when you're at an event or a birthday party and you just want to capture snapshots of the vibe for friends and family. Movie effects are a series of filming templates like a magic zoom, a slow shutter speed, time freeze, and more. Back in time, basically film something that you do in reverse, which sounds a little bit gimmicky, but we've already thought of quite a few real world cases. It's convenient for certain things where you'd be shooting to reverse the footage anyway. For instance, because we do a lot of tech shoots, we do a lot of shots plugging in cables. And one of the best hacks to getting the cable in the first time round is to unplug it and then reverse the footage. You could just reverse the footage in the timeline, but this is much faster and easier for clips that you're going to put up on socials. Or editing on your phone. Clone is a mode that opens up some creative options that duplicate the subject. There's a photo mode, there's a video, and there's a freeze frame option. This is a fun mode to do something that would usually take me a fair amount of work on other devices and using other software like GoDaddy Studio, a tripod, and you know, taking a lot of different photos. Now all you need to do is hold the camera as steady as you can, stand in each position, and snap away. The 12T then stitches the images together, and the results were much better than I actually expected. The same logic here applies to the video and the freeze options. Short video mode lets you take short video clips of up to 15 seconds long so that you can stick to Instagram, Story, and YouTube Shorts formats. The zoom in slider works like a camera rocker on a camcorder, so it just, it's nice, it eases in and eases out pretty beautifully. This is really convenient when making this kind of shorter content from your camera and then uploading it later. It's especially good for Android because Instagram doesn't provide proper compression and support for all cameras in the Android ecosystem, which is incredibly annoying. And I wish they would actually do something about that. That's why you often hear people say that you know the kind of device that TikTok was filmed on because of how badly Instagram treats direct access to Android cameras. Xiaomi's workaround here is to have this short video mode to help you stick to the 15 second limitation and upload the best quality that you can natively. Because the native camera is always going to perform better. Time-lapse feature allows you to quickly create time-lapse videos, which are great for montages with an unlimited duration, which I think is pretty cool. Instead of just filming for an extended period of time to catch a sunset or a traffic scene and fast forward it into a time lapse, you can now film a time lapse over that period with the time lapse feature. This is better because the final video file that's produced is significantly smaller on your device than an hour long clip would be and uses significantly less battery when filming. 8K really uses the 200 megapixel sensor to give you some really incredible detail in your images. 8K video footage is absolutely beautiful, especially when well lit, and gives more options in terms of cropping in and editing than lower resolutions. And also, just take a look at the level of detail in these 200 megapixel images. Accessing these modes is simple. In the camera app, swipe all the way to the right and tap more. This opens up all the camera options available on your device. If you want to add them to the bottom tray so you've got easier access, you can do that by tapping on the edit icon and dragging the camera mode to where you want it to be on the tray. 
It's worth noting that the camera features aren't the only features that are beneficial to content creators. I found that the 120 watt fast charging with the 120 watt fast charging brick that comes with the 12T Pro takes away a lot of battery anxiety I have when making content. Sometimes I don't film things because I know I'm gonna be eating into my battery life, especially if I'm getting lower. But now if I do, I can just quickly plug it up to the wall and have it fully charged. I mean, this thing goes from zero to 100% charge in half an hour. And don't forget about video and photo editing. It's all good and well to capture some great media, but you need a great CPU, NPU, and GPU to edit that media. The 12T Pro Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 makes that process a lot easier and faster, as well as the 12T's MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Ultra. It's a bespoke chipset that's designed to improve heat and power efficiency and ultimately the performance you need when you are editing and working on the media that you're going to upload. Sponsorship aside, the Xiaomi 12T Pro is by far the most impressive device in its price category, taking creative possibilities generally only available to a few people that can afford the higher end devices. That means that you're now able to create some amazing footage and images for your social media, your TikToks and your YouTube channels on a much smaller budget. Thanks Xiaomi.